Hey y'all. Today on Country Book Cooking with Marshall, we're going to be making a cheesy cheddar broccoli casserole. So easy. Minimum ingredients. A crowd pleaser. Your family will love it. Let's get it. Come on. All right, to start this casserole off, I'm putting in one can of cream of mushroom soup. But if you don't like mushroom soup, you can easily use this cream of celery. The mushroom soup's going in. Now don't dilute this. All right, next I'm going in with one cup of sour cream. Since this is two, I'm going to use about half of it. Get it in there. Next we're going in with one cup of sharp cheddar cheese. Get it in there. And the last thing we're putting in is these crispy fried onions. Put about a good cup, cup and a quarter in it. Right there's a cup. And about a good quarter. Going in. We're going to let this mix together for a good five, six, seven minutes, y'all. We're going to mix it well together. This can be a meal in itself, I'm telling you. Everybody's going to want to know your recipe. This is absolutely one of my favorite side dishes, everybody. It'll be so easy to make. Let's get this heated through real good. Now, as soon as I see my cheese is all melted in, see how it's all melted in? Turned into slight yellow look. I'm going to go ahead and put in two pounds of broccoli. Now, y'all, I use the frozen broccoli. You can use fresh if you want to, but hey, let's go for time here. Put it in there. Let's stir all this goodness in together. Then we're going to transfer it to a baking dish. It's going in the oven for a while. Who I loves broccoli besides me? I love broccoli about any which way you can cook it. Right now, we're just getting all this stuff good and coated. Look how good it's looking, everybody. Your family will absolutely love this, I'm telling you. Surprise them with it. Surprise your guests with it. If you're going on some kind of outing, function, food function, get together, bring this and they will absolutely love you for it. Those crispy fried onions, oh my goodness, so good. All right, next I've got a baking dish. You can do this in aluminum foil dishes, anything like that. This right here is probably around, probably around a foot by about eight inches. About two and a half inches thick. I'm gonna spray it with my favorite oil, y'all. This avocado oil, you got a good spray on it. Now simply put all your broccoli mixture in it. Even it out. And this is where we got it, look at that. Oh yeah. I've got my oven back here on 325 preheating. I'm gonna put this in the oven for around 30 minutes. Look at that. Oh, it's gonna all go together. Then we got another step to do, come on. All right, it's come out of the oven after 30 minutes. Look at that. Oh my gosh. Let me show you what to do next. We're simply going to get the rest of our cheese here and sprinkle it over the top. Get it all over. Make sure it's distributed. And let's get the rest of our crispy fried onions. And we're simply going to spread this, the rest of it, on top. Get them all distributed around. This is going back in the oven for about 10 minutes until that cheese melts and it's ready to go. Look how pretty that is though. Be right back in about 10 minutes. All right, everybody, there it is. Look at that. Oh my goodness, listen. Watch this. Oh yes, look at that. You're talking about some good eating, y'all. You gotta try that, it's so easy. Let's go ahead and get a bite of this and try it out. Y'all, it's absolutely fantastic. I know before I even taste it. Let's go on in. Mm. My goodness, everything in this dish says yes, yes, yes. So y'all give it a try. It's fantastic. Bring your recipe with you. They'll want it. Thank you everybody for watching me today on Country Boy Cooking with Marshall, where you know Jesus is always Lord. I'll see y'all soon.